last week or so, in particular since the AP update, I've gotten a lot of questions about how to beat man coverage and kind of just in general, more unique ways to beat man to man. People kind of understand that route abilities are a great way to create separation and that some stock hot routes on the running back as well as whip patterns are good at beating man to man coverage, but players are still looking for a more unique way to free up multiple players, especially if you're dealing with some press type abilities in that man coverage. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys formations that you should be on the lookout for that are very, very good and they share one thing in common. Let's get into it. What is up, guys? Dan from the Zam Mountain YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about offensive formations where if you motion a player from one side of the formation to the other, they go from being an outside receiver to an outside receiver. So the type of formation that I'm talking about can be found in several playbooks. I personally run one out of the X Nasty in the LA Rams. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the U Trips because these formations share something in common, which is when you go to motion a player, it ends up swapping assignments and getting multiple players free with solid leverage against man to man. This is especially useful against cover one and cover zero. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the four, three, even six, one here today in this breakdown. So the offensive playbook that I am in is the New England Patriots. You can also find this formation formerly known as the U trips. It's now known as Y off trips pats. Uh, you can find this in the bills playbook as well. And the reason that I like this style of formation is because when you motion a player across, this is going to allow you to get him free off of a jam or get some leverage that uh, due to a swap off can get him even more open as your player is in motion. So let me show you a simple concept here out of really any play. We're just gonna call Pat Slot out. If you guys are enjoying today's video, could you please do me a quick favor? Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. It would help me immensely as we're pushing towards 12,000 subscribers here on the channel. I really do appreciate the continued support and uh, you know, looking forward to the next thousand. So let's say that we're facing a heavy blitz. Uh, and obviously with this particular formation, the 4-3 even 6-1 kind of struggles with leverage against this. You could quick flat to the tight end all day out of this look. But let's just say that they are playing, you know, kind of a press alignment and maybe they move this guy down over here. So that way that uh, leverage is not given away and they're kind of standing right here mugging the gap. Now, what's really interesting about this is that if I motion either of the receivers on the trip side of the formation, which is the right side of the screen, across what it will do to the assignments as i hold up the play art for the defense is that it will flip flop the outside corner onto the player that is coming across the formation in motion this is especially useful because you could then use that freed up motion snap to free up not only Devonte adams who is now being guarded by the outside receipt uh the outside corner rather but also free up number 83 Marquez Valdez Scantling who is going to be guarded by Gilmore as that player travels so let me respot the ball and I'm going to show you exactly how we can kind of free up some players and this is really again it's going to be great against cover one cover zero so if they're in like a press alignment here and we know that we're going to flip flop this DB Dante Jackson off of Marquez Valdez Scantling and then you're also going to have Gilmore who has one step ahead coming across the formation in motion who will be swapped on to number 83. What we're gonna be able to do with this is utilize uh, that leverage against our opponent. So if I know the outside corner is now gonna be guarding Adams as he comes across, I would like to send Adams back underneath to the side that he originally was lined up on. Meanwhile, trying to free up something to the outsider vertical if you have a speed advantage with Scantling, who is now no longer gonna be pressed. So I'm gonna block the running back. This will be a six versus six. I'm gonna put Adams on a slant and I'm just gonna motion him across the formation. And what you should see here as we do this, you see how that guy is free? I'm now gonna go ahead and snap the football and then you could get that ball lobbed out very easily for a one play score against the cover zero. Chaos. This will also work against cover one for what it's worth as well. So let's go ahead and press that coverage again, play that cover zero. I'm going to put Adams back on a slant. I'm gonna block the running back and I'm going to motion him across. This time I'm gonna be showing you how open Adams gets. So because of that swap off, you now end up with a situation where Adams is working against the outside corner who is gonna give up that slant. And then I can throw that over the middle against the cover zero, provided that the user doesn't play it and we're gonna be able to, you know, find easy, easy gains. Thank you for checking out this free content over here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. 
If you guys are enjoying this content, make sure that you guys also check out my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our Vault Update, we go over the meta, or the most effective tactics available, being used by pro players on the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counteract those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every game plan on the site all year long for just a low price of $9.95 a month. And you guys get access to our Discord channel, where we have members of the Gridiron Game Plans community chatting daily, helping each other get better at the game. And this also includes a lab session every single Wednesday night on the channel. So make sure you guys get over the website. If you guys are looking for the best escape artist defense in the community, you have to look no further. GridironGameplans.gg. Now back to the video. So if they're going to sit in this cover zero, you have to kind of understand that the user is going to be now on that slant coming back across the middle. That's going to open up your running back off the line. So if I wanted to send the running back out to the flat, as well as maybe even the tight end out to the flat, we could go ahead and do that. So something you might want to do is go ahead and run this. And this is literally going to get everyone open because if this user hangs out in the middle of the field, you could go ahead, hike the ball, and then throw the ball out here. Just let that blitz come in because he's got to be on that running back no matter what if they're going to sit in a cover zero. The whole point of this is to be as annoying as possible for the defensive player, and that's going to free up your release to Valdez Scantling, your slant back across the middle, whatever you might want to do. Now, let's say, for instance, that when you're running this concept, they end up running maybe like a base align show blitz. That's another version of this. That will change things a little bit in terms of the leverage. So when you see a base align show blitz out of this, you're definitely going to notice the safeties walk down. That's an important tell that now the user is on the tight end. In this situation, you'll attack still once again to the flat with the tight end. But the safety is going to be doing some crazy stuff here. So let's go ahead and block the running back. And I'll just send right bumper on a streak. And if I go to that same motion, again, holding the play art up for the defense, if I motion Adams across, you're going to see here that you end up with these assignments traveling. So now you see that you end up with the outside corner who has base aligned and pressed, staying over number 83, but being manned up on Adams. Meanwhile, the safety is now on number 83. You could go ahead and work that safety pretty easily. Maybe you go ahead and use a whip whatever you want to do. But again, with this type of leverage, you might even fade Adams in motion, snap him off the line. Again, you see here, you could go ahead and throw that whip very, very easily. They're going to struggle, really, really struggle, honestly, if they want to sit in a cover zero style blitz. So that's cover zero, but let's go ahead and kind of apply this to cover one. Uh, so obviously a lot of players do like to play cover one. They like to play, uh, you know, more of like a, a drop zone around that. Uh, type of approach you guys have all probably seen cover one whole press uh with this as well let's go ahead and run maybe something like uh let's stay in that pat slot out because i like that fade off the line to the outside player again if they are going to be in a coverage alignment where you're going to get traveling of the corners this is going to be advantageous to you so once again i've got valda scantling on that fade i'm going to put adams on a slant uh, really up to you what you want to do with the rest, provided that you know that you've got time to make throws. I would send five out. Uh, but again, let's pull, pull up that player on defense, and I'm going to motion Adams across. And once again, you're going to see that swap off occur. And in this situation, you see a little bit of a, a different look. But uh, again, that slant is going to get open, and it must be usered. So in the nickel double A gap, sometimes your cover one might swap off a little bit differently. But again, as I showed you, when we motion this player across the formation, you still get that moment in time where you're going to be able to uh, do some pretty crazy stuff. So again, as I show you that play art, uh, now it's refreshed. Uh, you can see here that everybody's lined up pretty much according to uh, what you would expect. But again, you can still operate by when you do this motion, you can still bring this guy back over the middle because he's going to get nice inside leverage against that outside corner as he travels so when you end up doing this you know my expectation is i'm going to snap this football right here and then you see right there that's easy separation if you have a route ability to Devonte adams and if they want to sit in man-to-man -man coverage they better have a hook over the middle a purple zone set to the depth where that slant is or else it's going to get kind of ugly for them the whole point of this is to especially if you're facing press coverage get these players off of the jam 
That is the most important thing that I can stress to you when you do this. This motion is so pivotal because it basically makes everybody unbumpable, every single player. So again, you snap this football, everybody's really unbumped. Uh, X got a little bit of a slight jam. Again, the whip is gonna be wonderful. Drags, slants, ins, outs. If you have route abilities on this, it's gonna fry uh, very, very easily. And of course, if you you know are struggling with a specific formation, always go into uh, practice mode and take your uh, your your motion that you want to use and pull up the player out on defense and see if those assignments swap. And that if you have a leverage advantage at any point during that motion, where if you have like a guy that swaps onto the tight end but is standing three or four yards outside of the tight end, it would make nothing but sense to drag or slant or in route that tight end, depend on how they're lined up. Obviously, tight end slants aren't you know, possible unless they're flexed out a little bit, but you get what I'm trying to say right here. Same thing with the the running back. If, you know, you get a swap onto the running back where a guy's guarding him from across the formation, it would make nothing but sense to snap the ball and throw the ball out in the flat because they're not going to be able to sit in those uh, leverage, you know, when you're exploiting leverage, you're not going to be able to sit in stock man, uh, in particular, those blitzes that everybody is talking about right now since the AP update and uh, be able to live on that. So um, I think it's really, really important. I think a lot of players get overwhelmed with blocking blitzes. Um, sometimes attacking a blitz is as simple as motion snapping to free up multiple options, create some swaps, create some leverage issues. And then you'll find that players will quickly get out of that blitz if you're attacking them five out and just throwing to the leverage advantage. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, make sure you guys drop those below. Uh, as we are, I believe at this point, we're pretty close to 13, or I'm sorry, 12,000 subscribers. And now we're pushing towards 13,000. Thank you so much uh, for continuing to grow this channel in March of Madden 22. It's it's blowing my mind. You guys are insane this year. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys on Monday. Until then, this is Ann. Get the lab in. Good luck.